Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. I'm your host, Zach Bishop, and welcome to the 50th episode of Four Films. Wow. It's been a hell of a year. First off, I'd like to say thank you, the viewer, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this journey I've been on. I mean, I've tried to mix bits of facts and figures with my particular sense of humor and all my silly-ass skits, as well as flex my musical skills. I've used original music for pretty much every episode unless it's called for a very specific joke, so... Speaking of skills and my <laughs> talents, <laughs> it's up for debate, I know. Where did it come from? What inspired me? What what brought this out of me? The thing that shaped my humor and worldview was The Simpsons. It still is The Simpsons. The classic Simpsons. So here in no particular order, except for number four, is my number one, here are my four favorite Simpsons episodes. Now before I go down this list, I want to say that there are a lot of episodes that are so close to being in this four, and this was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made in my life. Which I mean, oh boo hoo, I gotta pick from favorite things. I know it doesn't sound like much of a challenge, but it really is when it's something that you care about deeply. Uh, the Simpsons are written into my DNA, and without people like John Schwartzwalder, Conan O'Brien, and of course Matt Groening, we wouldn't have any of it. Episodes like Springfield, uh, Homer Goes to College, uh, Homer at the Bat, you know, so many <laughs> episodes that are just fantastic. And trying to whittle it down, it was, it was really tough. Uh, but enough rambling, there's plenty of that to go around. So, I mostly love the classic Simpsons, and to me that's seasons like 3 through 8, if you really narrow it down, with season 5 being my all-time favorite. So, of course, my first episode up is Cape Fear. So what does this episode have? Well, it's got Sideshow Bob, it's got the Cape Fear parody itself, it's got Homer's Mr. Thompson bit, it's got General Kroll and his glorious new regime, and two of my favorite jokes, one of which is the entire family's tied up except for Bart by Sideshow Bob, and Lisa goes, oh no, Dad's been drugged, and Marge says, no he hasn't, like he's just asleep. And of course, the one of the most perfect jokes of all time and it's so silly it's so goofy but it's just um, utterly amazing is sideshow bob stepping on the rakes and just that repeated sound every time he gets hit and then the <laughs> it, it just kills me inside it's, it's amazing and now that i think about it, there's even more there's homer with his new chainsaw and hockey mask that he brandishes at bart uh there's all the fake outs you know i'm going to get you bart and all this stuff it, it, the, the letters themselves, uh, I kill you scum, when I was sent from Homer. The, the wipeout bit with, with wipeout playing on the radio and Bart just utterly horrified. There is a reason this episode was picked. So take your pick. So really the entire episode is like a slice of morbid hilarity cake and it's for you. Happy birthday. And by the time you're finished, you're like, wow, I, I couldn't possibly eat any more. And then you have Kelsey Grammer, who is the voice of Sideshow Bob just, pun intended, killing it during this episode. All his lines are perfect, and by the end you get his beautiful singing voice, and it just tops it off. You know, it's the literal icing on the cake, and that's what makes it one of the all-time greats. Next up isn't really fair to regular episodes, but damn it, it's honest. It's Treehouse of Horror 4. Now, the first, like, nine or ten tree houses of horror, they're all fantastic. They're always a good time. They're always, each segment has something to offer. And in this one in particular, it's in season five, so I already know I'm going to like it. The first segment deals with Homer selling his soul for a donut to the devil, which turns out to be Ned Flanders, so he has to spend his day in hell, and then he goes to trial. And on top of all the hilarious gags, it's a very visually striking and moody episode with great lighting and coloring. I mean, I do say that about the entire episode because the entire episode is very striking and moody. I mean, I was speaking about that particular segment, but it really does apply to the whole episode. 
So anyway, the second segment, The School Bus, which is a parody of the Twilight Zone episode, Terror at 20,000 Feet, which has some thing on the wing, or in this case, the wheel. This one has an awesomely gruesome ending, and the jokes throughout are fantastic. Probably my favorite joke in that segment, besides Willie saying that his mule wouldn't walk in the mud, so he had to put 17 bullets in him. <laughs> the best joke is probably when Bart comes downstairs from waking up from his nightmare, and Lisa asks, Bart, what's wrong? And he says, I just had a vision of my own horrible, fiery death. Then Lisa says, and? And the last segment is a parody of Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula, and then turns into a parody of The Lost Boys. Mr. Burns' Dracula is great, absolute perfection, and the jokes throughout are all hilarious, as usual. Even the goofy dad jokes here and there, which now that I'm older, I just grew to appreciate them more. Why does Homer make Pennsylvania sound so spooky? <laughs> Other than it's Pennsylvania. Third up is Treehouse of Horror, Five. Shut up, Judge! This includes The Shinning, Time and Punishment, and Nightmare Cafeteria. And then, of course, there's that horrible fog that turns you inside out. And really, when you think about it, you might say there's a little bit of this episode in all of us. <laughs> it's almost like we ate part of that episode, and it's in our stomachs right now! <laughs> oh, mm, scratch that last one. So why is this episode on this list? Well, The Shining is a great parody of The Shining, obviously. Nightmare Cafeteria is disturbingly funny. But the thing that makes this episode so good is really because it has one of my favorite moments of all time, if not my favorite Simpsons moment of all time. And that's in Time and Punishment. As I've probably said before in something else, I, really, I mean, I say it a lot, that opening scene, it perfectly sums up life and my worldview and my worldview from The Simpsons and their worldview and how I feel about The Simpsons. There, I should have enough. Which brings us to my favorite episode of The Simpsons of all time. That is, of course, Season 5's Homer Loves Flanders. This is my favorite episode of The Simpsons. And to be fair, yes, it is also the very first episode I ever saw of The Simpsons. As a young lad of maybe seven, eight years old? I saw this rerun of it at the time, and it told me everything I needed to know about the characters, the humor, it even had a real-world connection by playing Eddie Money's Two Tickets to Paradise in it. <laughs> and it has memorable bits in it as well, like Nacho Man, and the fact that <laughs> they made a meme out of the part where Homer phases through the bushes, as well as the Terminator 2 parody. And of course, you add on top of that the meta commentary by Lisa and Bart, and you add that spooky twist ending, and it basically shows the heart and humor of what The Simpsons were all about, and how the show has impacted millions of fans over the years. And so I'd like to end this 50th episode of mine with the biggest thank you I can possibly give to every single person who has ever worked on The Simpsons. You have changed so many people's lives for the better, and we can never repay you for that. But at least we can say thank you, because we've all been fortunate enough to have The Simpsons in our lives. So again, from me to all of you, thank you. Ah, can't believe I made my 50th episode. Did I just, I just put my hand in the toaster? Excellent guitar riff.